Hi, I'm Paul from Test Data Services, and today I'm going to step you through the key calls that we can use Test Data Services for to manage identities. Now, identities are key, obviously, to match testing where we have user interactions. So let's start with fetching a random person. So this call, it's all in Postman. You can download this same collection and you can run this exact same collection uh, if you like. Uh, so this particular request simply does a call to get random person and it returns back a person. I can do this over and over again and each time I do it, I'll get a new person. These are Australian identities, there's two and a half million of these ones, um, adding um, about 25 million US style identities so shortly. Uh, there will be a different call so that you can distinguish US versus Australian. This doesn't require a subscription, you can just hit this as often as you like. Every time we hit this, we're running these tests in Postman, uh, which effectively allow us to save the UID and the password. Now in this case, the UID is an identifier that we can use so that we can refetch this same identity later on. In this case, it starts with C10E, and we're also fetching uh, from the JSON structure, password four. So password four in this case, is ED2Z2 uh, and so on. So the reason for this is that often when we sign a user up, we want to make sure that we can uh, enter a unique password in and then we want to log in later on with that user ID. We want to be able to retrieve those details, including that password. So to retrieve a particular identity, what we do, we don't need a subscription for this either. We just pass in that UID from the previous call or any other call, and it will then bring us back that same, uh, same detail. If we wanna get a unique person, so let's imagine you're running a test and you've created um, 25,000 uh, identities uh, in your system or users in your system, and we've got two and a half million available, that means you've got a one in a thousand chance each time that there'll be a duplicate. To avoid that, you can basically just do this call to get unique random person, but you pass in a subscription key this time, and it will make sure that it never returns the same random person uh, for that same subscription key. So you can do this as often as you like, but if you want to start over again and you don't care about duplicates, like if you've got a, a CICD situation and every new build that you're pushing out uh, in your test environment starts off with a blank database, then you can just create a new subscription key based on this subscription key, for example. And now you've got a new subscription key. So now you can do your get unique person and you're gonna get a unique ID each time. So in this case, uh, this, the test script behind this JSON request includes um, this call to fetch the UID from the JSON structure, save it as UID3 as a, J, as a uh, Postman environment variable, and then I can obviously just fetch this, and uh, all three tests pass, which means that we know that the original password that we'd fetched from that particular unique uh, identity uh, still matches, which, which it ought. So I hope you found this useful. Now this subscription key here that we're using um, is the one that's on the website. Um, so testdataservices.com.au. Anyone can use this key, it works for everything, but it's very rate limited. So if someone started using it on mass for load testing, you'll quickly run out of uh, transactions and you'll have to wait uh, for a few seconds or a few minutes to be able to use it again. If you get a subscription, you won't have that problem. Well, thanks. Hope you enjoy using uh, these identities.